just did one of the stretch and warm ups and are joining us for a workout. For this workout, I do have a big bag. Um, if you don't have a big bag, that's fine. When we go to the big bag, you can shadow box. Uh, I also have a medicine ball and some weights. Again, if you don't have either, that's okay too. You can do all of that um, without them. And I do have a bag just for a step up, step down. So if you have a step in your house that you're close to um, and you want to use that to step up and step down, um, feel free to do that as well. It's only about a um, about 12 minute workout. Um, hopefully you'll get a good workout. We'll keep the pace pretty well um, as we're going through the different rounds. Um, if you do have a bag and you're on um, and you're wearing gloves, you may want to, if you have fingerless gloves, wear them. Um, it'll be a quick on and off with, uh, with boxing gloves if you have those. So if you need to go get some equipment, go ahead and pause and uh, come on back and we're going to get started. I'm going to set the timer. I think you will be able to hear it. If you can't, that's okay because I'm going to guide you through. So we're going to start out on the bag. We're going to go on and off the bag. Um, we'll do a few things in between and then come back on the bag like we normally do in class. So we're going to start out here with just a jab, cross, hook, hook to start. So if you're shadow boxing, you're just going to go jab, cross, hook, hook. Stay nice and strong. If you're on the bag, join me on the bag here. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Nice and strong. Those hands up. Watch your form. Keep the punches up high. Nice and face level. Out of boxing, watch your, watch your stance. Make sure you're not losing your, your width. Feet aren't coming together. Yeah, we're here to look in even better. And we're moving on. We are going to squat, nice narrow squat. If you have some weight, you can grab it. If not, just join us in some nice squats. Really sit into it. Nice, like you're sitting in a chair. That isn't quite there. This will be a pretty quick pace. The 40 second round, you have five seconds switch in between. If you want to bring the weight overhead, you can do that as well. Almost there. And next we have Gina's favorite, burpees. Here we go. You can go down to the ground, go ahead down to the ground. Nice and strong. You have to walk it out, that's okay. You can do this with a little jump and walk and come in. If you can jump and do this full burpee, go right ahead. Moving on, we've got push-ups. Just regular push-ups and at your own pace, go. You're on your knees, make sure you get that butt down, body nice and straight. On your feet, same thing. Good form. Going back on the bag after this. Come on up, we're going to alternating knees. Here on the back, shadow boxing. Nice, good form. Remember to use the hips. Bring it right out.
and breathe. Next one, you want to get to that step. We do that step up, step down. Really sit it down. Try not to straighten the legs all the way. Breathe. Step up, step down. Make it nice and active. Here we go. If you have something to step over, you can go wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Do that. Otherwise, try and get a little pep in your step. Those of you who may have partners at home or sitting watching you do this, they can get off the couch with you too. Make sure you're breathing. Keep those hands up even now. Nice, we got push-ups. Five up, five down, here we go. Five, four, three, two, Hold. And up. Five, four, three, two, hold. And again. Five, four, three, two, hold. And again. Five, four, three, two, hold. Halfway down. Three, two, one. Down. Three, two, one. One, and push it up, come on up, back on the bag, or in the air, shadow box, side hammer fist, if in the air, keep control, one, two, you can also take a front hammer fist if you're shadow boxing instead of side. Nice and active. Shadow boxing, one, two, one, two, one, two. Alternating lunges. Here we go. If you don't have a weight, reach back or reach back this way. If you have the weight, reach back high or at the waist. Here's high, here's at the waist, really twisted if you go at the waist. And if you can lunge further than I can, because you don't have bad knees, please do. We're getting there. We're already through round 10. Climbers, which have been known by other names in class, but not here. Remember, try and keep yourself over your hands. Have some weight on the arms. Use the whole body for these. And breathe. Almost there. 10 seconds on the mountain climbers. And come on up. If you have a step, you can do those dips there, or a chair, or just on the floor. If you're on the floor, make sure your fingertips are pointing towards you. Come on up, and dip. If you're on a bag or a chair, Again, fingertips are still pointing towards you. Nice and deep. If you've got some, you can drop down. The chair will work well. I'm sweating. 
I'm breathing heavy, so I hope you are too. Come on up, we're back on the back. We're gonna go jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, knee. Have a fist, have a fist. In the air, jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, knee, hammer, hammer. Jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, knee, hammer, hammer. Nice. Great job, everybody. Give yourselves a 